Hi there, welcome to All Colors. I'm Erica. On today's video, I am going to be working in a um, on a whip in Mythographic Paradise. This page has been waiting for me to come and work on it for a long time, so I thought today would be a good day to do that. I'm going to go ahead and take a sip of my tea. Today I am drinking an apple cinnamon tea from Harney and Sons, and that is another one that's really good. I'm not sponsored by them and I you know I just really like the tea so I thought I would share it with you guys anyway so the one that I am doing is base is this very first page actually so a long time ago I had done this page I put um I'd use my Tombow markers so like these guys I'd use these with my palette and the um like a water brush and just put that color on the paper and really liked the way that it turned out. I did not white out the um, images this time. So you can kind of see, so like for example, here's the coffee, here's this money bag. Um, I tried to white it out over here and I did not like it. So I just decided not to do any more. Here's like a bow and arrow, here's a calculator. Um, but what I basically did is I just continued the line like for this popsicle here. I just continued the line through the image and then just colored it like I would color, um, you know, the different, like I just, like it wasn't even there. I just colored right over it. So we're gonna see how that works. I do have a couple more um, Tombow markers that I'm gonna grab and then we're gonna work with some of my Sioux color pencils. So let me grab my colors. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I got a couple of markers here. I grabbed, um, a gray and a couple pinks. Now this one isn't a Tombow marker, but it's just like the Tombow markers. I got it at my local craft store at uh, Hobby Lobby. No, I think that one's Michael's. It's either Michael's or Hobby Lobby. I can't remember which, but it's the brand Artist Loft. I think that might be Michael's, uh, but they have just as good uh, marker. Like these markers are just as nice. They're the dual tip markers. So there's a brush tip on one side and a little bullet chisel nib or ch little bullet nib on the other end it's not quite as fine as well maybe it is I don't know what I'm talking about it's early for me <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and start with my gray so good morning everyone I hope you are having a wonderful day I am up early on Friday because Saturday we have to get up early. This seems really dark. Okay, this is what it's gonna be. Um, yeah, I have to get up early on Saturday because my daughter is starting up cross country practice and she is, um, she has practice super early on Saturday every Saturday for the next little while until her um, meets start then she'll be having meets on Saturdays so I think my whips are gonna have to be coming to you from Fridays for a little while but that's okay I don't mind that uh, I'm gonna have to start getting up early every day <laughs> starting next week uh, so that'll be fun because she starts back to school. We went last night and found out her homeroom. And uh, she is not in homeroom with her best friend, but she's pretty sure she's going to have other classes with her. So uh, I think it'll be, I think it'll be all right. And if not, then she'll be able to see her at lunch and, you know, anytime they actually get any free time they don't they don't have recess every day in sixth grade which I feel like the kids still need that break like I feel like they should get some kind of break um but hopefully she'll be able to hang out with her at some point Uh, she's excited though. She's nervous and excited and we're gonna do our best to work through this. 
we were at the event last night and there were a ton of people, you know, because it's all the kids plus all the parents plus, you know, and we went, of course, at the busiest time of the evening to find out her information. And she had a little bit of a an anxiety issue. And, um, but, you know, we talked it out and I think that she's going to be all right. All these little teeny tiny details in here. And this gray is much darker than I had planned on, but... You know, I kind of wanted to make the volcanoes back there kind of black as well. Because, you know, that volcanic rock is black. So I'm kind of wanting to do that. But I also want, like, I don't know. I want it to have a little bit of greenery growing up the side of it. But I don't know how I'm going to pull that part off. Which is why I think the volcanoes have been left uncolored. All right, where else do we need to get this part here? Um, okay, so what else? My husband is having the time of his life this weekend. <laughs> so there is a four day convention. It's a gaming convention that he goes to every year and he is so he's gone for the next four days. It's called Gen Con, just in case anybody is interested. It is all about different kinds of tabletop games, and it's the coolest. It's really fun. There are a ton of people, and my husband has found a way to get a lot of the stuff there for free. <laughs> so he's super excited. He's actually working. Um, and he really likes that. Oh, I forgot to do this part. There's a whole section in here that's not blue, and I have no idea what blues I used. That's not good. Let's see if I can find something that will match. Well, let's see what happens if I do that. All right, so I have my palette here. It's nice and shiny. Oh, sorry about that noise. We're gonna try this color. So I just have marker on here and then I'm gonna get my water brush. That's not the one I need. And I'm gonna pick that color up and just come right in here and hopefully that's not too different from everything else. It is pretty different, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to be going back over some of this stuff with um, pencils anyway, so. But hey, it's blue. Okay, so I'm using this really light pink on the dolphins, and I don't know if this is going to. Yeah, it'll work. Uh, yeah, so he is at this, this convention. Uh, he is working, actually, at a booth for a company that makes games that he likes and so he is getting a bunch of free games and he is able to trade games with other booths so he has found a way to work it the company pays for a hotel room for him they give him uh, money for food every day they paid for his badge to get in they paid for uh, they take him out to dinner a couple of times. Yeah, so he's he's just having a good old time. It the timing on it's not great because it's right in the middle of back to school stuff, but that's all right. So this is gonna look like a hot mess at the beginning because I just I'm just putting color on I'm not even really paying attention to um, whether or not it's like completely covered because I'm gonna go back over this with pencils anyway so I'm not worried overly much about that Oh, I forgot 
a little bit there. So you can kind of watch me fix this. So you can see where this coffee is overlapping with thin here. Or if you can't, uh, I'm showing you now. So in the corner here of this coffee, so that little bit was covering up that tiny corner of the fin. So now I've drawn in that line. And hopefully the coffee will kind of just disappear into the background. Now, that I don't always find that this is a an acceptable way to do it. Like I feel like a lot of the times the hidden objects really need to just be completely covered. But I wanted to try it out this way and see if I could get it to look halfway decent. Because I know that there are other colorists out there that do work that way. And theirs look completely awesome. So I was like, well, I'm sure that I could get it to work. Just have to, have to play with it a little bit. Okay, pink dolphins. Woo -woo. All right, let's see. Do I want to go ahead? I think I want a lighter gray. I feel like that's just too dark. So let me get a little post-it here again and we'll go through some grays. So I've got this one, which might be too light. We've got this one, which is almost dried out, but I think that's probably the color that I need. I think this one's too warm. Well, that one might not be bad. Let's see how much darker this one is. Yeah, I think we'll go with that one. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and color in these mountains. Um, what else? Let's see, we talked about Gen Con. Um, Let's do channel news because that is something that I can always talk about. I did release a couple videos this week. I released, uh, let's, <laughs> now I can't remember what I released. I worked on, I know for sure my completed pages is out. So you can check that out to see all the pages that I finished last month. I had a pretty good month. Um, I was kind of focused on the Yana Prosperina books, so I got, I started 10 of those and finished seven, so that's not too bad. Uh, I did get several buddy colors done, and yeah, I, I had liked the pages that I did last month. I think they were... They were fun because a lot of them were kind of like experimental things. So I, I learned, was able to learn kind of how some of my supplies worked, which was pretty cool. Uh, and then I also released my coloring plans for the month of August. Uh, I have several buddy colors. I have, um, and then I also wanted to focus on my mythographic books, hence the uh, working on this page this morning. I did it again. There's a little bit of blue sky there where the comb was that needs to have color. Um, yeah, and then I also did my current favorite um, 11 coloring books. <laughs> So I decided I was going to, I was like, I saw um, Coloring with Kay put out this awesome video, but she talked about her current favorite coloring books. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll totally do a video like that. That's awesome. And then I couldn't pick just 10. So I went and I went to 11 because I'm, I'm just that girl. I'm, I'm a little extra, a little indecisive. It's really the indecisive part. <laughs> That's why I couldn't pick just 10. All right, that works. Okay. Well, I like that so far. Let's 
get out some pencils. So I am going to use some Sioux Color pencils, I think, today. I have not used these in the Mythographic books, so I'm curious to see how they do. I don't really need a whole lot of um, work in the sky, I don't think, because I feel like it's the water color that I used back there was pretty, pretty good. Let's work on a dolphin. Maybe I can get my colors down for that. All right, so we're gonna grab 54. We're gonna grab, let's see, 26. 170. And I think the red, I think we're gonna grab a 90. Let me get all these sharpened. Okay, so we've got a dolphin here. Let's see, I'm gonna start with, start with this one. So this is the 26, and I'm just gonna go along the edges. There, there's a little bit of shading already. Uh, and then what else did I do? I did another, oh yeah, so I've got those videos. Oh, that should have all been pink. Let's see if we can just go ahead and color it. And then uh, I've got video plans. So I do have a color along picked out. Uh, I do have a lot of buddy colors this month, so I'm not sure if... I'm not sure what's going to happen as far as like actual coloring on the channel besides maybe like whips. I might have over scheduled myself again, but I'm not, I'm not overly stressed out about it. I was very upfront with all of my buddies, you know, like, Hey, if I don't get this done, you know, we'll just, we'll just go to go through to next month if, if that's okay. And, um, the majority of them were pretty open about it and, and are pretty open to it and okay with it. So that was, that was nice. I do feel like maybe next month I'm going to be a little lighter on the buddy colors so that I can kind of just color whatever I feel like coloring and not be overly worried. Okay, so these crystally bits... I are going to kind of create a shadow, I think. So this part is all going to be a little bit darker. And then like underneath the little bits are going to be some shadows. All right. I'm going to use my lighter pink now to kind of blend that out a little bit. I do like these Sioux Color pencils. I only got them because uh, Coloring with Elena uses them frequently. And, you know, I decided that I would be able to color just like her if I had these same pencils. So... <laughs> So I went and got them. They were on sale on Prime Day, so it wasn't too bad of a... And they're they're not expensive pencils to begin with. Uh, so I was kind of pleased. With the fact that they actually work nice. sounds scratchier than it is. I don't know if you guys could hear that or not, but they're really not scratchy at all. They're very smooth. Okay, crystally bits. I think I want to do it like a darker pink, like some of the shading and stuff, darker pink, and then that, like the um, dolphin underneath is a little bit lighter. Or maybe just 
make it completely crystal like and just get you know have different lights and darks and Uh, speaking of Gen Con, my daughter, oldest, is home. She is going to Gen Con as well with my brother. And they're just having a good old time. They've been playing games, like, nonstop when they're home. And then um, heading out every morning to go head down to the convention. I love that they get along so well. That's one of the things that I just, I just adore about my brothers. He's just really good to both, both my older kids can really just sit and talk to him. And then my youngest daughter just adores him. <laughs> she just thinks he's awesome. And yeah, just love that. I love that they have a good relationship. It makes me super happy. Hmm, let's see. I kind of want a little bit of a darker. That gets very red very quick. I kind of wanted, I wasn't really sure what I wanted actually. I did want it to look a little bit like it was a crystal, like an actual crystal, but I don't know that I left enough white <laughs> uh, or lighter stuff in here. So I'm really just trying to make sure that there's variations on the on the crystals between light and dark. I can go in and add some white. Let's do that. Let's see. So I've got this um, this Holbein Soft White, which is super, super, super soft. Like, way softer than my Prisma. But I should be able to come in and take some sections and lighten that up a lot. And then if I go over with maybe my white gel pen... be something as well. I'm going to make this inside of the mouth here a little darker. Um, yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to grab my Posca. Okay, let's see what happens. So I'm going to trace this as best I can. Although I think a lot of the detail might disappear if I trace all of it. Hmm. I do typically trace all of my crystals with white. However, I'm not sure if I like this. I just feel like that would maybe get lost in the mix if I do all of them that way. So, I don't think I can scratch that off at all. I might just have to go back over it with a darker color again. So I think what I might do instead is, because these like shiny bits are gonna definitely be white and then there's gonna be large swaths across the water that are white. I wanna get some of his little teeth in here white. I wanna make sure they're Uh, yeah, so I think what I'm just going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and do outline these guys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that it would have just gotten lost. Like none of the detail would have been able to be visible if I was trying to 
outline every single one of those in the white. I just feel like that would have been too much. So I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm just gonna kind of do some lines here and there on them and hopefully that would be kind of enough to indicate that they are crystals. Go back over those other ones with some darker. Here, let me see if I can just do that now. Oops. Doesn't look terrible. Okay, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, let's see. So I'm gonna have a couple of lines going here. Maybe some this way. Cause these crystals are kind of all over the place. Okay. And then I can also come in here and do my own little starburst things. How they're nice and bright. Let's do another little one on this one. Okay. And there's other sparkly bits here that I'll also get to, but for now, there's a dolphin. I do need to color his eye. I don't know what color eyes dolphins have. We're gonna go with a brown because that's what I want to do. <laughs> I'm gonna try this color and see. It might have been too light. Just gonna grab this one, add in some dark in there. There we go, a little bit darker. Add in the highlight back in because I made a mess. All right, well, there's a pink dolphin. <laughs> yeah. So I think for these fish, I am gonna use some bright colors for that as well. I don't want you guys to have to watch me like shade in the rocks or anything. That would be kind of boring, but I feel like some of these fish would be fun. So let me grab, I'm just gonna grab markers again. I almost wanna just color them similar colors to the background so that they kind of blend in. Maybe this is why I haven't colored this page because I can't. <laughs> I can't decide what I want. That's a possibility. Um, let's see. So we have pink dolphins. Let's do... I don't think the purple fish would work. Let's do... Let's do these little guys, like a yellow color. We'll do this one, some greens, or maybe a turquoise color. Let's do... No, let's do him. All right, I'm going to think about this for a second. I will be right back with you. Okay, so I decided that these little fish are gonna be blue. So I've got this Copic marker. I know I was using mostly Tombows before, but Copics won't hurt because uh, it's one-sided. So I'm gonna use these little guys. These little guys are just gonna be blue. I'm gonna leave their little faces kind of white. I might come in with a lighter blue pencil or something and shade that out a little bit, but they're so tiny. Okay. There's also, I just saw another section here where there should be some seaweed kind of going up this way. So I had to draw those lines in so that work okay then I also have what do I have YRO2 
for the orange fish. And I think I'm going to do these guys orange. Again, I'll come in with um, colored pencil and make it look a little bit better. But for now, I just want, want some bright tropical looking fish. Then I have yellow for the last fish. And this one is Y04, in case you were interested. I'm pretty sure that this is my favorite thing about the mythographic books now, is that they are single-sided and I can use my alcohol markers to do whatever I want. I think that's all of the fishies. Let's do some coral. I do have a couple of kind of pinky corally colors. Yeah, I like this color. I'm gonna color this coral down here in the corner. This is a good, um, this is is R22 and I love this color. It reminds me of that saltwater taffy color that uh, is in the Distress Ink by Tim Holtz. It's just a beautiful color. I don't have the sketch marker but I have this chow so but yeah. And of course I have to focus. I'm sitting here with my <laughs> Face, like all scrunched up in concentration so that I don't make a huge mess everywhere. Goodness. Uh, so let's see, what other, what other things do I have coming up on the channel? I know that I will be doing, I need another, oh, I think that's, I think that's dark, isn't it? Shoot, there's my other marker. Uh, what was I saying? I'm so sorry. I, this is, <laughs> I am so surprised that people actually tune in to watch me do this every week because I, this, I would be so frustrated with myself, like hearing myself speak. I want to do these guys in some kind of corally-ish color. What does this one look like? That'll work. This is a darker pink. Dark, darker pinky coral. And then I know that I want some of the leaf things here to be kind of turquoisey. That one works. So this is an Ohuhu PB10. Was that even on camera? Sorry if it wasn't. <laughs> Sometimes I just don't pay attention to what I'm doing. Okay, so seriously, what was I talking about? I was talking about um, videos that maybe I was going to make in the future. Was that a topic that I was actually discussing? Yeah, I think that I I do have the color long picked out. It's just, like I said, finding the time to get it done. Uh, and then I have a couple of other videos that have been suggested recently that I would like to film. There are some more collection videos that I would like to film. I still haven't, even with all the collection videos that I've put out, um, I still have quite a few coloring books still in my possession that I would like to share with you guys. Not all of them have colored pictures in it, so that's kind of maybe a little bit uh, of a reason to, to hold off. I don't want to just show you a bunch of empty books, but I know a lot of people like to see what, what kind of things are in my collection as well, so who knows. You might, you might just get a video with a bunch of books I haven't colored in yet. That's a possibility. Uh, I would like to show you some of the uh, P 
PDFs that I have. I have quite a few of those now. And of course, not as many colored in as I would like and more always in my Etsy cart. <laughs> But hey, we're supporting artists, right? That's the whole point of that. Let's see what else I got here. All right, we're going to try this one. So this is G8. I just wanted to get a couple more colored. So you can see right here, I'm hoping you can see that, when I put the alcohol marker over where I put the Posca before, it just kind of resists. So a lot of the times when you try to use uh, alcohol markers, you have to then go back over with color pencil anyway. So I just kind of wait until, that's why I kind of was wanting to wait until I, I got closer to being done with this one so that I could just There we go. All right, so I just have this guy here to do. Let's grab, let's see what this one does. This will work. This would probably be a good spot to use the, the little fine liner tips on my, <laughs> on my markers or actual fine liners. I have a set of Arteza ones that I could have used, but we're just gonna try to do the best we can with this little bullet nib. I'm gonna go ahead and do this part too here. And then I saw this guy over here and I need to do him. Let's just get that all colored in. All right. It's looking pretty cool. I might take that corally color and do these little flowers with that as well. I probably should have done them pink, but I think that'll be okay. could add some corally colors into some of the dolphins kind of bring that color back up into the page a little bit that's a possibility all right well I think that's looking pretty cute so far I just really have to get in there with my pencils and start shading things yeah I think I'm gonna like these little pink crystally dolphins those are cute uh, the other, the other whip that I still have, um, that I wanted to work on is in Mythographic Enchanted Castles. This is one that I've been working on forever and I've done several color or several whips, weekend whips on the channel with you guys. I just, I'm so close. I just have to, I have to finish this, this little bit and then the mushrooms and the leaves and the background and it'll be done. So close. I just, it's just taken me forever to do this one. Just, I think because I just get bored, but it's so pretty. It's such a pretty page, but I get bored doing all of the castle-y stuff. So, yeah. All right, I think that's gonna be it for today. So here are pages that I'm hopefully going to be getting done this month. <laughs> we shall see. Both of these might still make an appearance on another weekend whip later this month, we'll see. But uh, for sure, you will see a color along at some point. It might be very, very near the end of the month. But I will get a color along out in one of the mythographic books. Yeah, so that's it today. Thank you guys so much for watching me. Uh, and until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.